Although there are nine known isotopes of helium, only helium-3 and helium-4 are stable. All radioisotopes are short-lived, the longest lived being 6 He with a half-life of 7002806700000000806.7 milliseconds. The least stable is 5 He, with a half-life of 6978760000000007.6 times 10 minus 22 s, although it is possible that 2 He has an even shorter half-life. In the Earth's atmosphere, there is one 3 He atom for every million 4 He atoms. However, helium is unusual in that its isotopic abundance varies greatly depending on its origin. In the interstellar medium, the proportion of 3 He is around 100 times higher. Rocks from the Earth's crust have isotope ratios varying by as much as a factor of 10. This is used in geology to investigate the origin of rocks and the composition of the Earth's mantle. The different formation processes of the two stable isotopes of helium produce the differing isotope abundances. Equal mixtures of liquid 3 He and 4 He below 6999800000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Further evidence comes from RIKEN in Japan and JINR in Dubna, Russia, where beams of six He nuclei were directed at a cryogenic hydrogen target to produce five He. It was discovered that the six He nucleus can donate all four of its neutrons to the hydrogen. The two remaining protons could be simultaneously ejected from the target as a two He nucleus, which quickly decayed into two protons. A similar reaction has also been observed from 8He nuclei colliding with hydrogen. 2He is an intermediate in the first step of the proton-proton chain reaction. The first step of the proton-proton chain reaction is a two-stage process. First, two protons fuse to form a diproton, followed by the immediate beta plus decay of the diproton to deuterium, with the overall formula, Ra. W. Bradford has considered the hypothetical effect of this isotope on Big Bang and stellar nucleosynthesis. Helium-3. 3 He is stable. There is only a trace amount of 3 He on Earth, primarily present since the formation of the Earth, although some falls to Earth trapped in cosmic dust. Trace amounts are also produced by the beta decay of tritium in stars. However, 3 He is more abundant, a product of nuclear fusion. Extraplanetary material, such as lunar and asteroid regolith, has trace amounts of 3 He from bombardment with solar wind. For helium-3 to form a superfluid, it must be cooled to a temperature of 0.0025 K, or almost a thousand times lower than helium-4. This difference is explained by quantum statistics, since helium-3 atom are fermions while helium-4 atoms are bosons, which condense to a superfluid more easily. Helium-4, the most common isotope, 4He, is produced on Earth by alpha decay of heavier radioactive elements. The alpha particles that emerge are fully ionized 4He nuclei. 4He is an unusually stable nucleus because its nucleons are arranged into complete shells. It was also formed in enormous quantities during Big Bang nucleosynthesis. Terrestrial helium consists almost exclusively of this isotope. Its boiling point of 4.2 K is the lowest of any known substance. When cooled further to 2.17 K, it transforms to a unique superfluid state of zero viscosity. It solidifies only at pressures above 25 atmospheres, where its melting point is 0.95 K. Heavier helium isotopes Although all heavier helium isotopes decay with a half-life of less than one second, researchers have created new isotopes through particle accelerator collisions to create unusual atomic nuclei for E elements such as helium, lithium and nitrogen. The unusual nuclear structures of such isotopes may often insight into the isolated properties of neutrons. The shortest lived isotope is helium-5 with a half-life of 7.6 times 10 minus 22 seconds. Helium-6 decays by emitting a beta particle and has a half-life of 0.8 second. Helium-7 also emits a beta particle as well as a gamma ray. The most widely studied heavy helium isotope is helium-8. This isotope, as well as helium-6, are thought to consist of a normal helium-4 nucleus surrounded by a neutron halo. Halo nuclei have become an area of intense research. Isotopes up to helium-10, with two protons and eight neutrons, have been confirmed. Helium-7 and helium-8 are hyperfragments that are created in certain nuclear reactions. 10He, despite being a doubly magic isotope, has a very short half-life. Table, carrot bold for stable isotopes. Carrot intermediate in the proton-proton chain reaction. Carrot AB produced during Big Bang nucleosynthesis. Carrot this and 1H are the only stable nuclides with more protons than neutrons. Carrot has two halo neutrons. Carrot has four halo neutrons. Notes the isotopic composition refers to that in air. The precision of the isotope abundances and atomic mass is limited through variations. 
the given ranges should be applicable to any normal terrestrial material. Geologically exceptional samples are known in which the isotopic composition lies outside the reported range. The uncertainty in the atomic mass may exceed the stated value for such specimens. Values marked hash are not purely derived from experimental data, but at least partly from systematic trends. Spins with weak assignment arguments are enclosed in parentheses. Uncertainties are given in concise form in parentheses after the corresponding last digits. Nuclide masses are given by IUPAP Commission on Symbols, Units, Nomenclature, Atomic Masses and Fundamental Constants. Isotope abundances are given by IUPAC Commission on Isotopic Abundances and Atomic Weights. Decay chains. Although some helium isotopes, such as 6 He and 8 He, decay mostly to isotopes of lithium, the major tendency among known isotopes seems to be decay into lighter helium isotopes. Fission, seen only in even-numbered isotopes, is also unusually common. Decay chains for isotopes with multiple decay modes listed in order of probability.